I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Little Hearts bookmark, which you can see here in the photo. I also have uh, one completed one here. And uh, the Little Hearts bookmark, it's very simple. It's just a little bit of color work worked amongst single crochet stitches. So for this project today, you're going to need a uh, lightweight yarn, so that's one with that number three on the label. I'm going to be using a little bit of Patton's Grace in both Citadel and Natural Colors. So you're going to need two different colors, lightweight yarn. Uh, the Patton's Grace is a mercerized, so it has a little bit of sheen to it, and it's a 100% cotton, which I like to make my bookmarks in. Uh, you're going to need two colors, as I mentioned. You're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And if you would like a copy of the written crochet pattern, which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, and I'll provide the notes for you, uh, or the link in the notes for this video. On the written crochet pattern, you may find it helpful but there is a color chart worked out there for you. Um, to follow the chart, it's simply one block equals one single crochet stitch and one row equals uh, one row of stitches. So this pattern has 13 rows. I'm going to go through the entire thing for you here in this tutorial, tutorial just to help you out. So, uh, if you are new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And uh, why don't we grab our hooks and our yarn and we're going to get started crocheting this Little Hearts bookmark. Our bookmark pattern today is worked in rows. And uh, for the tutorial, this Citadel color, this blue color, is going to be my color A while this natural color is going to be my color B. So for the pattern, we're going to start off with our color A. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And you're then going to chain 40 stitches. There's 10. And 20, and 40. Once you have your chain of 40, you're going to start with your row one. And your row one, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook. And in each stitch across, you're going to continue working in your color A. So count in from your hook and into that second chain, single crochet, and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to have a total of 39 stitches, and you will always have 39 stitches throughout this project. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a single crochet into that first stitch, and once again, in your color A, a single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to start working some of that color work. So uh, you may choose to go and print off that chart if you would like to make it a little bit easier for yourself or the written instructions. But as I mentioned, I will go through it here. So we're going to start with our color A and this is row three. 
we're going to start by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches and then into our third stitch. However, we're not going to want to complete the stitch in our color A because our next stitch is going to be worked in color B. So one, two, we need one more stitch in color A. We're going to insert our hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. We want to drop our color A, pick up our color B and place it on our hook. We're then going to pull our color B through and we have three stitches now worked in color A and one in color B uh, and we finished and we're ready to continue on in color B. Okay, so you'll have three in color A. You're next, going, next you're going to work three stitches in color B and then you're going to switch back to your color A. So we're going to switch in that final stitch. We're going to do one full stitch in color B two and then we need one more but we want to switch back to our color A. Now I'm just going to go back here and show you what I'm doing with the color when it's not in use. So I'm going to go back. What I'm doing is I'm simply crocheting, I'm crocheting at the moment over my end as well as the color that's not in use. Because it's a bookmark and both sides will be seen, I kind of want to keep it neat and tidy in the back as well as the front. So I'm simply placing it across when I work the stitch, I'm working over top of that yarn that's not in use so that you can see it's well hidden there in the back, okay? So I need my three stitches in color B and then I need to switch back to color A. So in color B, I'm going to sw uh, insert my hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. I'm not going to complete the stitch in color A. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to pick up my color B, place it on my hook and pull through. I'm now ready to continue with color B. Color, uh, sorry, with color A. Now color B, my white is not in use at the moment so I'm going to continue to work over top of it and pull it along uh, behind. So next we're going to in color A work six stitches and then switch back. So there's one working over top of my color A or color B sorry oh my goodness I think I'm going to switch to just using uh, the names of the colors. So I'm working over top of my white <laughs> There's three, four, five, and this is my sixth stitch. I want to switch back to my white or my color B. So I drop my color A, pick up the color B, place it on my hook, and pull through. I'm now going to repeat. So I'm going to be working three stitches in color B and six stitches in color A all the way across. So working one, two, and three, switch back to my color A and then work six stitches in color A. So you're going to continue that all the way across. At the end of this row, you will have your 39 stitches, but you will have four sets of the three stitches worked in your color B. There's five, six. I'm going to switch back. Work three stitches. switch back and work six. So do, do that all the way across. At the end of your round three, this is what you're going to have. Okay, so you have your four sets of three stitches in your contrasting color. And you're going to finish with the six stitches in your color A. 
At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to start on row four. If you're following your chart, you're now going to be working from left to right. On row four, you're going to work five stitches in your color A and switch to your color B on that final stitch. So there's two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to drop my color A, pick up my color B, and place it on my hook. Now here, because it's going down a little bit, I'm going to keep it fairly loose because I want to work over top of that little extra bit to kind of keep it looking neat and tidy. In my color B, I'm going to work five stitches in color B. So there's one. I'm bringing my color A in behind and carrying it with me. There's two, three, four, and five, and I'm switching back to my color A. It gets takes a little bit of practice to kind of get used to switching back and forth and holding it, but you'll get there if you're, if you're struggling. I'm then going to work four stitches in my color A. One, two, three and four, switch back to my color B, and I'm now going to repeat the pattern. So five stitches in my color A, or color B, sorry. Five stitches in color B. Switch back to my color A, and I'm going to work four stitches in my color A. You're going to continue that all the way across until the final two stitches, and the final two stitches are worked in your color A. So continue all the way across, five in color B, four in color A, and you're going to finish off with your final two stitches being worked in your color A. At the end of row, row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're now going to work two stitches in color A. You're reading your chart from right through to left. After the two stitches, you're switching over to your, your color B, and you're going to work six stitches in your color B. In your sixth stitch, switch back to your color A and work three stitches in color A. You're now going to repeat. So work six stitches in color B. Switch to color A and work three stitches in color A. You're going to continue that all the way across until your final four stitches and your final four stitches are going to be worked in your color A.
for row uh, six, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row six, you're going to work three stitches in your color A. Pick up your color B. And then work six stitches in your color B. Switch back to your color A, work three stitches in your color A, switch back to your color B and you're going to repeat. So work six stitches in your color B. Switch back to color A and work three stitches in color A. You're going to continue that all the way across, working your final three stitches in your color A. At the end of row six, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row seven, you're going to work one single crochet in your color A uh, in each of the next four stitches. Switch to your color B. And you're going to work six stitches in your color B. Switch back to your color A, work three stitches in your color A, switch back to your color B and you're now going to repeat six stitches in your color B. Switch to color A and three stitches in color A. Continue that all the way across and when you come to your final two stitches you will work those final two stitches in your color A. At the end of row seven you're going to chain one and turn your work. We are now just, just at about halfway. For row eight, you're going to single crochet in each of the next three using your color A. Switch to your color B. And in your color B, you're going to work in each of the next six stitches single crochet. You're going to switch back to your color A and you're going to work one stitch in color A in each of the next three stitches. Switch back to your color B and you're going to repeat six stitches in color B. Switch to your color A. If I can find it, there we go. 
and three stitches in color A. You're going to continue that all the way across until your final three stitches and your final three stitches will be worked in your color A. For row nine, you're going to chain one and turn your work. In color A, you're going to work a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Switch to your color B and you're going to work a single crochet in color B in each of the next six stitches. Switch back to your color A. And work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Switch to color B. And work a single crochet in each of the next six. So you're going to repeat that all the way across to till your final four stitches. And your final four stitches are going to be worked in your color A. You should really be starting to see your heart come through now. At the end of row nine, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And for row 10, you're going to single crochet using your color A in each of the next five stitches. Switch to your color B. And you're going to single crochet in your color B in each of the next five stitches. Switch to your color A. colors are all twisted here. In color A, you're going to single crochet in each of the next four. You're then going to repeat. So switch to your color B, single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Back in color A, you're going to single crochet in each of the next four. Repeat all the way across, and at the end of this row, you're going to work your final two stitches in your color A. At the end of row 10, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're now going to, with color A, work a single crochet in each of the first three stitches. Switch to your color B. And you're going to work three stitches in your color B. Switch back to your color A and you'll work six color six stitches in your color A. Switch 
switch back to your color B and repeat. Three stitches in color B. In color A, work six. Repeat that all the way across till your final three stitches. And at that time, you will work your final three stitches in color A, and you are free to fasten off your color B and weave in your ends. Leave your color A attached. At the end of row 11, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to simply, in your color A, single crochet in each stitch all the way across and you're going to do that for a total of two rows. So two rows in color A of a single crochet all the way across. And then you can meet me back here and we're just going to do a quick little edging. So two rows of single crochet in color A all the way across. At the end of round 13, you'll have your bookmark that looks like this. And you're going to, you can either fasten off and weave in your ends at this point, or we're just going to do a short edging along these two shorter ends. So I've left my yarn attached for this first one. I'm going to chain one and then just around along this rough edge, I'm simply going to work 13 single crochet stitches evenly across. And this is just going to finish my end off a little bit more. I'm then going to fasten off, weave in my ends, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of my bookmark. Once again, fasten off, weave in your ends. Uh, you may feel like you need to do a little bit of blocking uh, for sure. Go for it, or I find cotton is also easy to iron. And also don't forget when your bookmark is pressed in your book, uh, it will straighten out as well if you're finding that it's curling a little bit. So that's all there is. Work across one end, go repeat it for the second, fasten off, weave in your ends, and block if desired. So thank you so much for joining me on this little tutorial on how to make the Little Hearts bookmark. And uh, once again, I invite you to take a look around. Please don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.